Henry Bruselis Mayweather at 27 years old, still one of the youngest big stars in the sport. He's three years older than Bruselis. He's one inch taller. He's got a three inch arm length advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They both weighed in under the 140 pound limit. Tonight, Mayweather has appreciated only up to 142 unofficially on our HBO scale, while Bruselis comes in at 150 with a functional eight pound weight advantage. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather, Henry Bruselis fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case of cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we get her to score cards after four rounds have been completed, and they cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim! Roy Jones, uh, Henry Bruselis' plan here is to try to get to Floyd Mayweather's body, extend the fight, and hope that he can wear Floyd Jr. down. Is the 16 and a half foot ring going to operate strongly in his favor? No, uh, actually it's going to cause him to get caught with more of those vicious punches by Floyd Mayweather, so I don't think it's going to really work in his favor. Jim, uh, I spoke to Cotto uh, earlier tonight, asked him what chance his friend has and Cotto actually was trying to mimic Mayweather in sparring sessions with Bruselas, who he's known since he's 10 years old. And he says, this will be a test of whether Mayweather can deal with a really strong, well-conditioned uh, junior welterweight. Like himself. You can add to himself also a really talented, strong, well-conditioned Junior welterweight. Like Costa Zoo? <laughs> well, Costa Zoo is a great puncher and a great fighter. One of the best 140 pounders we've seen. Uh, he's, he's getting on in years. How many, how many fights does he have left? And here's Floyd Mayweather Jr. who's getting an enthusiastic reception from the relatively small crowd on hand. The nature of the reception is welcome. The size of the crowd is not what Floyd would have been looking for, but maybe the worm is turning on his public appeal. Jim, I don't recall a fighter as talented as him who has made less of an impact for whatever reasons. Uh, about 4,000 tickets were sold tonight. Not a single national writer is covering this event. Born to fight and regarded by all observers as either the number one or the number two pound for pound fighter in the sport, Floyd Mayweather launches another effort here to make his public appeal match with his amazing talent. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from American Airlines Arena here in Miami, Florida, Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present the featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC number one ranking in the world in the super lightweight division. Sponsored by sportsbook.com, sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission Executive Director, Jason Penley. The chairman is Eduardo La Casa, Vice Chairman Don Bowen. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest will be Harold Lawrence, Gary Ritter, and Peter Trimatera. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jorge Alonso. And now for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with red, white, and blue. Official weight, 138 and three quarter pounds. Professional record, an excellent one. 21 victories, including 13 knockouts, with only two defeats and one bout even. From Gorabo, Puerto Rico, here is Henry El Nitro Bruselli. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. Wearing blue and white, official weight, 139 pounds. A perfect professional record consisting of 32 bouts. 32 victories, including 21 knockouts from Grand Rapids, Michigan, 
the two-time world champion, the man recognized as one of the pound-for-pound pound best in the world today, former super featherweight world champion and former lightweight champion of the world, the undefeated pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Bruselas. You don't believe me, no? You don't believe me? Okay. Mayweather, center ring, chief second. All right, I spoke to you in the dressing room earlier, okay? I gave you all the instructions. Let me remind you, I want a clean fight above all things, and I want you to protect yourself okay. at all times. Give me clean breaks on the break, okay? Okay. Yo te di las instrucciones en el camerino, okay? Vamos, Antes que nada, quiero una pelea limpia. Cuando yo diga break, me hace un buen break, y no me tire el golpe en el break. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Alguna pregunta? It is good here. Esto está bien aquí. Vamos. Okay. Okay. Touch rough. Okay. We've had fights Touch. with high expectations, Touch. with low expectations. This one has no expectations because we simply don't know what Lucellus will bring to the dance. Well, you know what he's expecting to see at the dance. That's for sure. Mayweather in his last few fights has been noteworthily more offensive minded than was the case through much of his career. Perhaps looking to improve his crowd appeal and stamp himself a more exciting fighter. He's taken more risks, even allowed himself to be wobbled just a little bit by Demarcus Corley early in his first 140 pound assignment in Atlantic City, but he went on to whack Corley out of there, knocking him down in both the sixth and eighth rounds. Zealous' his plan is to go to the body and see if he can extend Mayweather through a long fight and wear him down. And he threw the first two body shots as he got Mayweather to the far side of the ring. Floyd has been brilliant in recent fights with straight right hand leads and right hand counter punches. Mayweather loads up a right hand and bangs it off the side of Priscilla's head and goes back to work with the jab to the body. Yeah, he's using the jab really good cool early in the fight tonight. Jabbing both upstairs and downstairs, and there's the right hand lead. Right. Right. Knew it wouldn't be too long before that came. Let's go. <laughs> it's been his money punch in the last few fights. And I guess he lands it, Roy, because he's just so quick on the trigger. Just so quick, and most guys have their left hand a little too low to catch it. Michelis is holding his hand very high, almost inviting Mayweather to throw to the body. Uh, maybe he doesn't think Mayweather punches that well to the body. Well, when a guy's as quick as Mayweather is and lands as easily as he does to the head, Maybe it's easy to see why Floyd could sometimes go without throwing body punches for a longer period than most fighters. Because he doesn't have to wear a guy down to land something to He can do it when he wants to. Anytime he gets rid of it. Throughout his career, Floyd has been extremely adept at hearing our commentary in the ring during the fight. And he made a point of winking at Roy and me as he brought his head over the top of Priscilla's shoulder about 30 seconds ago. But now Priscilla's has clocked Floyd with one good solid right hand. Left hook. Our interpreter, when we go to Bruselas' corner where they'll speak Spanish, is Jerry Olaya. You see, you see, you're at his level. You're at the level 